You don't have to go to Japan to get the best authentic anime experience. You can get it wherever you are with Crunchyroll. And right now you can get a premium subscription for 30 days for free if you visit crunchyroll.com slash tyt. And with that, you would get access to all the best anime titles in the world in high definition across all your devices, and you get it one hour after it premieres in Japan. That is pretty incredible, wherever you are. So you can be watching Sailor Moon Crystal, Narutoshi Budin, Sword Art Online 2, so you can get that all for free by visiting crunchyroll.com slash tyt and get your premium subscription today. YouTube user Danny Ford found out why you should not try to smash a mother wolf spider recently. Let's find out what happened. Oh, uh, oh no! Oh, the oh no! The poor mother. <laughs> So my personal re uh, response to that is screaming and waving my arms, uh, but we have two scientists here, one of whom is a spider enthusiast and entomologist, Phil Torres. Tell us about what just happened. Yeah, so I study spiders a lot, and to be honest, I grew up arachnophobic, and then I like accidentally started falling in love with spiders. When I lived in the Amazon, we'd see giant spiders everywhere, and I realized nobody was studying them. Very few people were really looking at them, so I'd look closer now. They're great, so when you see something like that, you're learning about their behavior, but also I don't like seeing people kill spiders. Mm -hmm. And I think the title to this was Why You Should Never Squash a Spider. I think this is another reason why you should never squash a spider. I just don't think we should be spider squashing anyways. Babies everywhere. Babies everywhere. But yeah, it's it's interesting thing that you'll see. There's some uh, insects that do that. Uh, scorpions do the same thing. And then oh. some spiders will do this too, that when the babies hatch, they will ride on the back of the mother and they'll get a free ride out for a while, wait for them to sclerotize, to get a little bit hardened and a little bit more durable to take on the world and then oh, they'll, okay. they'll get out there. So they can't really survive without her for that while. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're waiting for their time to, to jump ship and I think that is a pretty good example of a backup plan that if the mother does get damaged, they can all scurry and go on their way and they'll probably some of them will survive. Also looking up the wolf spider, because I, I don't know much about spiders and my interactions are normally at pet stores or friends like Phil who have spiders as pets. <laughs> um, but looking it up online, also this particular spider, the wolf spider, is very interesting, particularly because of its parenting habits. The, the spider builds the sack and carries it around, covers it in silk, covers the eggs in silk, and if she loses it, she searches furiously for it. Like, there are reports of people just kind of, you know, documenting this spider looking for her egg sac just compulsively like a mother would with her children. And I, I personally, I just felt bad when seeing that because of that maternal instinct that you want to say, like, this poor woman is just carrying her babies, woman, um, and the female, <laughs> leading her with a, with a yeah. broom out of ignorance. Yeah. My, out of fear and ignorance. Absolutely. Where do you think that my, fear comes from? Because I know... I'm a little bit squeamish. I'm not as cool as you, uh, and it did scare You're me a little cool. bit. I, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but this is you and this is me, okay? With spiders, it's a little bit scary. I'm not really sure where that fear comes from at all. I just know I have, it's irrational. You know, I think it's a bit cultural, just kind of what we're taught to be afraid of or to love and that kind of thing. But I mean, I have a, I have a nephew who I've tr taken on spider hunts and try to get him excited about spiders. And he likes certain spiders, but then he saw one the other day and got all scared. I was like, no, this isn't what we do. We think they're cool. But still, it's there are certain things that we are kind of naturally a bit afraid of. It's got a lot of legs. It's got the whole web that can get caught up. Uh, to me, I'm over it. Once you start to really understand these things, you can just get excited about them. But, you know, it happens. And my other thing when I see a video like that is that spider is there for a reason. And probably if you find a spider in your house, lots of times they're eating things in your house. They need food. So that guy should take that broom and clean up his apartment Aww. because there's probably bugs eating all of his stuff that he's left over and then the spiders comes and eat the bugs. So use your broom to clean up, not squash spiders. So what do you do if you see a spider though? Because I've had this where I will put a cup on top of a spider because I don't know what kind of a spider it is. And then um, we will text Phil pictures of it. What is what it? What do we do? It, it's true because you don't know and sometimes you do have that instinctual reaction, but you don't want to kill a, a spider that is harmless or that is eating mosquitoes or mm -hmm. something. So I think the answer is to tell do? Phil 
Yeah. Text and then, Phil, <laughs> and then he'll just respond. Shoot me a tweet. I'm all over that. Uh, you know, I think it's... Um, it, it varies. Obviously, you don't want to put yourself at risk. There are a few species around most areas that can potentially be medically significant, it's called. But in general, you can do it pretty safely. Put a cup over it, put some paper under there. You can just take these things outside where they belong and let them go. I think the majority of the time when you see a spider, it will be an okay spider. But obviously, be careful. I don't want anybody out there getting bit. I've, but the chance, I mean, yeah. I've handled spiders. I've worked with spiders for years. I've never been bit by a spider. I've definitely seen a black widow outside my parents' house. What do you do then? I think it's up to you. Honestly, if it's a true black widow here in LA, they've been displaced by the invasive brown widow. Mm -hmm. So when I see a true black widow here, I'm like, you get them. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like excited that Pet they're still talks. here because... Yeah. Uh, because the brown widows My parents don't live aren't native to here. Okay, and yeah. then they've, they've taken over. But even throughout the U.S., brown widow is not native. So when I see those guys, I'm more likely to squash them. Because, yeah, I don't want a brown widow in my house. But mm -hmm. um, in general, if you can get them outside, get them outside. All right. True advice from a spider expert? Spider expert slash lover. A spider man. Spider. <laughs> what, what do you think of the spider video? And do you feel any different about spiders now if you were arachnophobic? I don't know, like me. Let us know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe for more.